we begin with our Daily Mail TV exclusive interview with none other than Sharon Osborne. Her exit from the talk made headlines around the world. Our reporter, Caitlin Becker, sat down with Sharon for this candid conversation where the beloved daytime host reveals what she says really happened on that now infamous episode of The Talk. It was as if I had gone in there with a machine gun and threatened to kill somebody. Sharon is talking about the unrelenting reaction to her conversation with fellow co-host Cheryl Underwood back in March when she defended her friend Piers Morgan for comments he made about Meghan Markle. Tell me, what has he uttered that's racist? It was a freedom of speech matter. It was pure freedom of speech. A journalist friend of mine who wrote something that people didn't like and then a few crazies out there go, you must be racist. It's like, come on. Sharon says that a show executive wanted to create controversy and without her knowing, told her co-host to ask her if people now thought she was a racist. It was a setup. They all knew the question and they all knew what was going down. I felt totally betrayed. Sharon says it was a betrayal that was especially hard to swallow because a similar situation had occurred with co-host Carrie Ann Inaba asking a question she hadn't been privy to. Why is it that it's not okay for white people to use the N-word? And I'm like, did I just hear that? And Carrie Ann then started to cry. What I want to say though is like, it's important to have the conversations where I was uncertain. It was a very bad situation. So the co-hosts met in secret at Carrie Ann's house, brokering a pact to protect one another. We went to lunch and we all agreed that no, we wouldn't hijack each other. We all agreed. Sharon says during the entire live segment, no one threw her a lifeline left me out to dry for 20 minutes. Feeling abandoned, Sharon says she wanted to walk out, leaving them with some choice words as she went. Then they could have said, see, she's crazy. She had to go. In the end, Sharon did go, a victim of cancel culture. Where is the forgiveness? Where is a second chance? So you say something wrong. You're not threatening somebody, but you say something wrong. You're out. You are out. Her replacement, actor Jerry O'Connell, who sent Sharon what she described as a lovely note after he got the gig. I am so happy that Jerry is there, and he'll kick all their But will Sharon be watching? I wouldn't, why would I watch it? Reporter Caitlin Becker is joining us now from Los Angeles with more. And Caitlin, first off, what a get. Congratulations. And that was some awesome interview. Thank you, and that is for sure. Sharon is one of a kind. Now, Thomas, we reached out to CBS for comment on what Sharon had to say, and they reiterated their statement from March saying that they found no evidence that she had been set up. It's also interesting to point out here, though, that Carrie Ann Anaba also decided to leave the show. In April, she took an extended leave saying that she needed to focus on her health after recovering from COVID in December and revealing that she suffers from several autoimmune conditions like chronic fatigue syndrome. She announced her permanent exit in August. As for Sharon Thomas, she has plenty more to say, including how she got through her very public exit from the talk amid death threats and, of course, what's next for her and Ozzy. Plenty more to hear, plenty more for us to bleep. Caitlin Becker, thank you very much. We can't wait for that. That is coming up later in the show, and great job again. Caitlin Becker, thank you.